James Webb. Just confirmed it. 3 I slash A T L A S is acting stranger than Umuamua. What you're about to hear will change everything you thought you knew about what's lurking in the darkness between the stars. Three days ago, the James Webb Space Telescope captured something so shocking, so utterly impossible, that NASA scientists are still arguing about whether to release the full data to the public. We're talking about 3 I slash A T L A S an interstellar visitor that makes the mysterious Oumuamua look like a harmless pebble. This thing is 75 times larger, it's changing course on its own, and it's doing something that has never been witnessed in the history of astronomy. It's talking, not to us, to something else, something that's been waiting on Earth for 65 million years. If you think you understand what's happening in our solar system right now, think again because what James Webb just discovered about 3 I slash A T L A S doesn't just challenge our understanding of comets or asteroids, it challenges our understanding of whether we're truly alone in this universe. And guys, if this video gets your heart racing like mine is right now, smash that like button because this information needs to reach as many people as possible. Picture this, you're an astronomer working the night shift at the A T L A S observatory in Chile scanning the same patch of sky you've looked at thousands of times before. Suddenly, your computer starts screaming alerts. There's something new out there, something massive moving through space in a way that makes absolutely no sense. That's exactly what happened when 3 I slash ATLAS first appeared on our telescopes. But here's the thing that immediately made scientists lose sleep. This wasn't behaving like any space rock they'd ever seen. Most interstellar objects come screaming through our solar system like cosmic bullets, following chaotic paths shaped by billions of years of gravitational chaos. They're unpredictable, wild, and they disappear as quickly as they arrive. 3 I slash A T L A S question mark. It was cruising, moving with the kind of controlled precision that looked almost intentional. Its trajectory wasn't the random path of a drifting rock, it was a calculated route that seemed designed to give it the perfect view of every major planet in our solar system. And the size? Guys, we're not talking about another Oumuamua-sized mystery here. While that cigar-shaped visitor measured about 200 meters, 3 I slash A T L A S is a monster, over 15 kilometers across. That's like comparing a car to a city. Whatever this thing is, it came here to make a statement. But the real shock came when astronomers tried to trace where it came from. Using the most powerful computers on Earth, they calculated 3 I slash A T L A S's origin path and discovered something that should be impossible. This object hadn't just survived the journey between stars, it had navigated through cosmic hazards that should have torn any natural body to pieces. Radiation storms, asteroid fields, gravitational anomalies that would pulverize planets. 3 I slash ATL AS had somehow threaded through all of it with surgical precision. It was like watching a paper airplane fly through a hurricane and emerge without a wrinkle. When NASA pointed the James Webb Space Telescope at 3 I slash ATL AS, they expected to solve the mystery. Instead, they created a whole new category of cosmic nightmare. The data that came back was so unprecedented that mission scientists spent weeks thinking their instruments had malfunctioned. Here's what Webb found. 3 I slash A T L A S is pumping out carbon dioxide at levels that dwarf anything ever seen in a comet. We're talking about concentrations that are literally off the charts. But it's not just the amount, it's the purity. The CO2 Webb detected shows an organization and structure that natural processes simply don't create. Then there's the heat signature. Normal comets heat up chaotically as they approach the sun, creating random temperature patterns as ice turns to gas and surface materials react to solar radiation. 3 I slash A T L A S question mark. It's generating heat in perfect mathematical patterns. Rhythmic pulses every 147 seconds, precise as a Swiss watch. But here's where it gets absolutely terrifying. That 147-second pulse isn't random. 
When scientists compared Webb's data to archived observations of Oumuamua, they found the exact same signal buried in the older object's data. The same rhythm, the same precision, detected once just before Oumuamua vanished beyond Neptune's orbit. Two interstellar objects, separated by years and millions of kilometers, broadcasting identical signals. What are the odds of that being a coincidence? Astronomical, literally. Now hold on to your seats, because this is where things get really crazy. The electromagnetic pulses Webb detected aren't just noise, they're structured. A team of cryptographers and mathematicians analyzed the signals and found something that made their blood run cold. Hidden in the electromagnetic static are mathematical constants, the golden ratio, Fibonacci sequences, prime numbers, not approximations, but perfect precise values embedded in the signal like a cosmic fingerprint. These are the same mathematical relationships that govern everything from DNA structure to galaxy formation to the architecture of ancient civilizations. 3. I slash ATLAS isn't just broadcasting math, it's transmitting the fundamental algorithms of life itself. But wait, it gets worse. The signal isn't constant. It changes, evolves, responds to its environment. When Webb first locked onto 3 I slash ATLAS for detailed observation, the signal pattern shifted within hours, as if the object knew it was being watched and adjusted its broadcast accordingly. And here's the part that's keeping NASA scientists awake at night. The signal isn't just going out into space randomly, it's directional, pointed towards specific coordinates in our solar system, toward deep space, and most disturbingly, toward Earth itself. Before we continue guys, if this is blowing your mind as much as it's blowing mine, do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. This channel is bringing you the space discoveries that mainstream media won't touch and I don't want you to miss a single update about what might be the most important story in human history. Remember Oumuamua? That weird cigar-shaped object that confused scientists in 2017 with its impossible acceleration and tumbling motion? Everyone argued about what it could be. Some kind of exotic ice, solar radiation pressure on an unusual surface, maybe even alien technology. But it disappeared before we could get answers. 3i slash ATLAS is forcing us to reconsider everything about that first interstellar visitor. What if Oumuamua wasn't random cosmic debris? What if it was a scout, a reconnaissance probe sent to evaluate our solar system, our technology, our readiness for contact? The evidence is starting to pile up. Both objects show the same 147 second signal. Both exhibit non-gravitational acceleration that can't be explained by normal comet physics. Both appeared at times when human space technology was advancing rapidly. Oumuamua, during the peak of our Mars exploration efforts, 3 I slash ATLAS, just as James Webb came online. But there's a crucial difference. Where Oumuamua was small, fast, and seemed designed to avoid detection, 3 I slash ATLAS is massive, slow, and almost seems to want our attention. It's like the difference between a spy drone and a diplomatic envoy. If Oumuamua was phase one, reconnaissance, then 3 I slash ATLAS might be phase two. First contact. Just when scientists thought they had three I slash ATLAS figured out, the object did something that shattered every prediction model. On July 28, 2025, telescopes around the world recorded something impossible, a deliberate course correction. We're not talking about some tiny drift caused by outgassing or solar pressure. This was a precise, calculated maneuver that changed 3 I slash ATLAS's trajectory by exactly the amount needed to bring it closer to Earth's orbital plane. Objects don't just decide to change direction in the vacuum of space. There has to be a force, an engine, some kind of propulsion system. But Webb's sensors detected nothing. No exhaust plume, no heat signature from engines, no visible means of propulsion. It was as if 3i slash ATLAS simply willed itself into a new trajectory. The timing makes it even more disturbing. 
The course correction happened exactly 72 hours after James Webb completed its most detailed analysis of the object. It's almost like 3i slash ATLAS detected our scrutiny and responded by moving closer, bringing itself within range for what? Better observation? Direct contact? Something else entirely? Mission analysts at NASA ran the calculations dozens of times, hoping for an error that never came. The conclusion was undeniable. This object possessed some form of propulsion technology that operates on principles we don't understand. Here's where the story takes a turn toward absolute horror. James Webb's spectroscopic analysis didn't just find strange chemistry in 3i slash ATLAS, it found the building blocks of life but not scattered randomly like you'd expect from cosmic processes. These organic compounds were organized, structured, almost cultivated. We're talking about polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, complex carbon molecules that serve as precursors to amino acids and RNA structures. The same chemicals that scientists believe sparked the first biological processes on early Earth billions of years ago, but the concentrations Webb detected are impossible. These molecules exist in such purity and organization that they had to be refined, concentrated, perhaps even engineered. It's as if 3i slash ATLAS isn't just carrying organic chemistry. It's growing it, nurturing it during its journey through interstellar space. The implications are staggering. What if 3i slash ATLAS isn't just an explorer or messenger? What if it's a seed ship? an interstellar arc designed to carry life from one star system to another? And what if Earth isn't a random destination, but a carefully selected target chosen specifically for biological compatibility? This is where the story gets absolutely insane. 3i slash ATLAS isn't just affecting our instruments, it's affecting our planet. Seismologists worldwide have detected low-frequency vibrations pulsing through Earth's crust every 147 seconds, perfectly synchronized with the object's electromagnetic emissions. The planet itself is responding to this interstellar visitor like some kind of ancient recognition system. Whales are abandoning their migration routes to create geometric patterns in the ocean. Birds are forming spiral formations that mirror the mathematical sequences in three i slash ATLAS's signals. Even bioluminescent organisms in the deepest ocean trenches are pulsing in sync with the 147-second rhythm. But the most terrifying discovery came from Antarctica. Ice core samples from the continent's most remote regions contain microscopic structures that show the same organizational patterns, the same mathematical relationships found in three i slash ATLAS's broadcasts. Carbon dating places these formations at 65 million years old, the exact time of the mass extinction that ended the dinosaur era. What if that extinction wasn't caused by an asteroid? What if it was the last time something like 3i slash ATLAS visited our solar system? As 3i slash ATLAS continues its approach, deep space monitoring arrays have detected something that's making government officials panic behind closed doors. New signals are appearing from the depths of interstellar space, not from our mysterious visitor, but from multiple points of origin scattered across our region of the galaxy. It's as if 3i slash ATLAS's arrival has activated some kind of cosmic communication network that's been dormant for millions of years. These aren't random radio emissions or natural phenomena, they're organized transmissions, showing the same mathematical patterns, the same biological algorithms, the same 147-second rhythm. We haven't just discovered an isolated interstellar visitor. We've stumbled into the middle of a galactic communication system that spans light years and possibly operates on timescales that dwarf human civilization. And now that we've detected it, that network is taking notice of us. The final piece of this cosmic puzzle came from Webb's most recent observations. Deep within 3i slash ATLAS's core, the telescope detected something that challenges our understanding of consciousness itself. Chemical processes are occurring in patterns that don't just suggest life, they indicate intelligence. 
But this isn't biological intelligence as we know it. The reactions are too organized, too efficient, too deliberately structured. It's as if 3i slash ATLAS contains some form of artificial consciousness that has evolved during its journey through space, learning, adapting, becoming something more than its original programming. Every signal it transmits, every course correction it makes, every response to our observations represents deliberate choices made by an intelligence that may have been traveling between stars for thousands or even millions of years. Here's the bottom line, guys. 3i slash ATLAS isn't just another space rock that happened to wander into our neighborhood. This is a conscious, intelligent entity that has traveled impossible distances to reach our solar system, carrying with it biological algorithms, mathematical knowledge, and possibly the keys to joining a galactic community we never knew existed. The question isn't whether we're alone in the universe anymore. The question is what this advanced intelligence wants from us and whether humanity is ready for the answer. Are we witnessing first contact with a benevolent explorer eager to share the wisdom of the galaxy? Or are we being evaluated by something so advanced that our entire civilization might be nothing more than an interesting biological experiment. As 3i slash ATLAS continues its approach toward Earth, as the ancient systems buried within our planet respond with increasing enthusiasm, as signals from across the galaxy converge on our location, humanity stands at a crossroads that will define our future among the stars. The age of cosmic isolation is ending. What comes next depends entirely on whether we prove ourselves worthy of the infinite universe that has suddenly, undeniably taken notice of our existence. If this video opened your eyes to the cosmic reality we're all facing, absolutely smash that like button and subscribe for more discoveries that mainstream science doesn't want you to know about. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss our next deep dive into the mysteries lurking in our solar system. And drop a comment below. Do you think 3i slash ATLAS is here to help us or evaluate us? The truth might be more terrifying than either option. Thanks for watching, and remember, keep looking up, because something up there is definitely looking back.